my heartful congratulations to India for the remarkable success of the G20 summit held recently in New Delhi. This summit marked a significant milestone with the admission of the African Union as its newest member. I would like to acknowledge and commend Prime Minister Modi and Dr. Jay Shankar for the adept diplomacy in achieving unanimous consensus. Let me begin by extending my heartful congratulations to India for the remarkable success of the G20 summit held recently in New Delhi. This summit marked a significant milestone with the admission of the African Union as its newest member, ensuring the representation of all 55 African countries within the G20, which was previously limited to South Africa alone. Undoubtedly, Prime Minister Narendra Modi deserves recognition for championing the inclusion of the African Union in the G20. His proposal made three months prior to the summit laid the foundation for this historic decision. Furthermore, I would like to acknowledge and commend Prime Minister Modi and Dr. Jay Shankar for the adept diplomacy in achieving unanimous consensus on the comprehensive joint declaration on the opening day of the summit, as well as the successful launch of the India-Middle East-Europe corridor. India's relationship with the Global South is both dynamic and multifaceted. The nation has cultivated robust bilateral ties with numerous countries in the Global South and places a significant emphasis on South-South cooperation. This cooperative approach involves collaborations among these nations to foster mutual development through various forums and initiatives. India also extends technical assistance and concessional loans to support development projects in partner countries. The Vaccine Maitri Initiative, which was one of the biggest humanitarian initiatives undertaken by India, has provided COVID vaccines to nearly 100 countries around the world. The enduring partnership between Bhutan and India serves as a remarkable example of strong bilateral relations in the Global South. Rooted in shared values and historical ties, this partnership spans various sectors including trade, education and development. India's consistent support for Bhutan's socio-economic development coupled with collaborative efforts in the hydropower sector has not only boosted Bhutan's economy but also enhanced regional energy security. The enduring people-to-people -people ties between the two nations further strengthen this bond. The Global South confronts an array of challenges ranging from poverty, income inequality, and limited access to healthcare and education to issues such as food insecurity, inadequate access to clean water and sanitation, high in unemployment rates, political instability, climate change, trade imbalances, and digital divide. Addressing these complex issues necessitates a multifaceted approach involving international collaboration, investment in human capital and infrastructure, enhanced governance and accountability, and the adoption of sustainable development practices. In many respects, India stands as a stalwart leader of the Global South, advocating for the interests and concerns of developing nations on the international stage. Through its stewardship of the G20 presidency, India has played a pivotal role in amplifying the concerns and interests of the Global South, embodying the spirit of solidarity and cooperation among nations. In conclusion, India's hosting of the G20 summit and its dedication to the welfare of the Global South are testaments to its leadership in the international arena. Together, we can work towards a more equitable and prosperous world, addressing the challenges faced by the Global South and fostering a bright future for all. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.